morning for elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Thursday. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday already, my goodness, and it's April 21st, and it's day four. All right. We had another great day yesterday. A lot of fun. It's starting to get a little warmer. More people were able to get outside a little bit. A lot of people are doing some amazing things, getting ready for the art show. A lot of people are doing some amazing things, getting ready for PSSAs coming up. Some people are doing some amazing things, getting ready for the uh, orchestra concert, the band concert, and the chorus concert. we got a lot going on, and we've got less than two months of school left. My goodness. But we're going to make the most of every minute between now and the end of the year. We're going to keep working hard. Believe it or not. Miss Wells is already working on field day, which is Friday, June 3rd. And I sent out an email uh, yesterday to your parents that if you want to get a Hoover shirt for field day, usually certain letters, last names are red, last names, certain letters are blue. Um, you can order that shirt, but you have to do it by uh, May 11th. And I think it's like $5 and you have to put in your size and all that. So if you're excited about that, please make sure you get your shirt order in uh, prior to May 11th so that we can make sure that you have one. And if you don't, you don't want one or you want to wear a different shirt, that's fine too. But lots of people like to wear red and blue for field day coming up June 3rd. Exciting. Also, just, just a quick reminder, I know we do have some kindergarten students who uh, drive to school every day, and we appreciate that. Uh, just a reminder, kindergarten students, please use our car rider procedures, okay? And if for some reason it's not your turn to drive and you're letting your parents drive, just remind them they have to use our car rider procedures, okay? So that means, you know, um, some people like to get here at like 10 o'clock in the morning, you know, for dismissal. There's probably lots of other things you could do. Um, we don't really dismiss till 3.30. If you really wanted to get here at 2, you're just going to be waiting. 2.30, you're going to be waiting. But if you get here, like the sweet spot's probably around 3.15, 3.20, 3 something like that would be great. We get everybody off the blacktop by 3.44, and then we start bringing in some buses, okay? So it's not like, oh, my goodness, I'm going to be in this long line, and I'm going to, you know, never get out of here. No, because believe me, we all want everyone to get home safely, okay? And as quickly as possible, actually. Um, so, again, if you're a kindergarten student, and for some reason your parents forget, and they park um, in another place, maybe like in Middletown Trace Apartments or anywhere else, just remind them, hey, you know, we've got these great um, car rider dismissal procedures. Let's follow those. Because remember, if we all work together, we can have the best school year ever. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be kind.